Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to uh, open a, our mini conference, how it was labeled Lessons of Pandemia. We have been living already about 18 months in a sort of extraordinary situation, what in this generation uh, has not been encountered, although we know that uh, 100 years ago the world was maybe in a worst, even worse situation where the pandemics of uh, uh, flu was actually coupled by the political situation and the situation of, uh, and the war. So today we, we, have, we might say even that we are quite lucky to have our today's problems compared to 100 years ago, but still uh, people don't think what, what was the worst case, but they compare what was yesterday. And that's why uh, I think we need to uh, somehow now try to analyze what really has happened and uh, what kind of uh, uh, actions have been taken by the national states, by the international organization, what kinds of, of uh, sort of regulation has been opposed and how, what kind uh, of consequences this all will, will have. And that's why we have called today's uh, uh, conference with this uh, title as uh, Lessons of Pandemia. So let's start to, to be smarter and maybe we can learn from this experience and the ongoing situation for a future. Uh, to start with uh, practical, uh, we have actually now the first session where we, we have been planning three uh, speakers. Two speakers will join us over the internet, video presentations from the renowned uh, uh, specialist who has been quite vocal on the issues of, of Corona and how the uh, sort of different countries have and politi political uh, level has acted. And uh, we are happy just to uh, actually also present uh, the actually some summary about the Estonian uh, situation. And we are honored that we have here Professor Ilja Lutzer. Uh, she will give the overview uh, on an Estonia as being very close to the, to the actual decision making. So, but first of all, we have uh, Professor Sonetra Gupta from Oxford University, uh, starting with, uh, uh, and then it's followed by, by uh, Professor Martin Gulder from Harvard um, uh, Medical School. Uh, so, I think we start with Professor Iria Lutzer, and please, Iria, the floor is yours. And, uh, our plan is to have three presentations without questions uh, and answers, and then we have half an hour for Q&A session and discussion. So. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, it has been a very, very difficult time for me. I'm probably one of the few people who has been in the in front line of the pandemic since the beginning, or pretty much since the beginning. Everyone else has been sort of either fired or left. Uh, but let's see for how long one can keep in, in this very stressful times. So can I have my slides, please? And I'm, I'm trying to give you the overview of the Estonian epidemics and, and you to understand why the decisions have been made and what was our thinking behind it. I'm not saying that this was right or wrong. And I end up with uh, giving a mark to Estonian epidemic. So we go to the next slide. Since the beginning in Estonia, we, we never had sort of idea eliminating virus. We always had the idea living with the virus. Uh, and, and the 
this in, and we always had the idea that keep the society as open as possible. It hasn't been possible all the time, as you know, but but that that was the uh, but that was our um, our aim and our rate limiting step was the hospital capacity. We know that there are 4,400 active beds in Estonia, but that does not mean that all these 4,400 4, beds have stuffed. So the, the patients are not treated by hospital walls, they are treated by nurses, uh, caretakers and, and doctors. So we have also in Estonia 157 third level intensive care beds and, and again these are very specialized beds you know I'm, I'm not able to work in the third level intensive care for sure I, I may be able to work in corona ward. We know that COVID is very resource consuming you need more stuff as you would need in general ward because of this uh, costumes that you need to wear and you can't be in these costumes for eight hours you you need to have some some breaks Estonia had a shortage of doctors as, uh, and nurses before the pandemic the pandemic didn't bring it in so so we, we knew that and and currently everybody is tired Tiredness of the pandemic is, is also among doctors and, and nurses and, and the healthcare workers have been overworked. We always have known that restrictions should be the last resource, not the first resort. And, and the, the, so the very last thing was that the, the absolute priority was the education and, and work-related activities and probably the second priority was sort of entertainment. Oh, okay. So, one slide of statistics. The life expectancy in Estonia is 78 years. We have had a total of 106,000 cases per million until, until now. Uh, the total death rate is 971 per million. Case fatality rate, uh, the mortality can be looked at several ways, but I don't have time to explain it. The case fatality rate uh, is 0.9%. Uh, it's, it's sort of in the lower end in the world, but it all depends what is recorded and what is registered. And the hospital fatality rate is relatively high, 13.6% is very high for, for an inf infection or only septic shock has higher mortality rate. And those people who die, they, they are elderly, mean age 78 years, 80% are 70 plus, and 23% and of uh, uh, those who died uh, came from um, care homes. Not very good in changing slides. <laughs> okay. So, this is the epidemic cause of, uh, of Estonian epidemic. You can see that we had a, this, this was not a pandemic. The curve here is very flat, but we also know that very rarely people got tested. So this is not the real curve. The real curve is this one. We have a total of two lockdowns. The first one was in spring 2020. One can understand because nobody knew what is going to happen and it was very, very new. All countries were closing and closing. We as a small country, I, I think that that was the only option we could do. Bigger countries could choose different, uh, different ways. And the second lockdown came when the peak in the hospital, the, there were more than 700 patients in the hospital, more than 100 patients coming every day to the hospital. The, the hospital capacity was on the upper end and, and the, the second lockdown uh, came at, the, at that point. So if you look at this curve, the looking, looking only here, the lockdown works. So lockdown was uh, uh, started on March 11th and very soon after that uh, the, the cases started to drop. One could always argue and say they probably would have dropped anyway. But uh, Yes, that's just argument. Similar pictures have been seen in any other country as well, that if the 
strict lockdown was established, the cases started to drop. That's the Estonian curve. The grey color is Stalin and Harjuma. The, the, the green color is Itaviruma. And here the pink color is Tartu and Tartuma. So a pandemic very different the, the, in springtime or in wintertime, Tallinn and Itaviruma mostly, very little cases in the southern part of Estonia, quite another way around now. Itaviruma, very few cases in Itaviruma right now. The cases mostly in the southern part of Estonia, the Pulva, Varu, Viljandi, Valka, you name it. So the, so the, 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 the Pandemic is uh, in, diff uh, in different location right now. Mm -hmm. This sli slide shows to uh, you the, uh, the age distribution. Blue colors are above, well, below 50, red colors are above 50. Then darker the color, then younger, then darker the color, then older. So you can see that it's going with the, with the waves. Usually in summertime, this is last summer, this was this summer, mostly young people. Partying, going, uh, uh, traveling, moving around from uh, in the morning in, in Pärnu and the afternoon in Tallinn, in the evening in Narva, and, and maybe in, uh, the, the, in Hotel Jökeva, uh, for the night. So, so young people moving around, driving the pandemic. Currently, the very, very last two weeks, what we are seeing now, the, the, the disease is again going to care homes. So the, we, we had a sort of break of care home uh, uh, cases for a for, uh, for number of weeks, but now the last two weeks in southern part of Estonia, there are several care homes, uh, again, uh, several patients. Those people are very sick, very old, and there are also death cases coming from there. I'm losing a lot of time. Can you can you change the slides? I can. Okay. So, if you could change the slides, I, I said next slide that would be faster. So, if you look at this uh, uh, this slide, there is a strong correlation between severity of disease, age, and gender. It's the the worst situation is uh, elderly men. If you look at the, if you look at this uh, this graph here. 50% of uh, men aged 80 plus end up in the hospital of those who are infected. And of those who are infected, about 20% men at age 80 plus would die. So it's a, it's a very, uh, very peculiar infection uh, that is mostly affecting not many many infections mostly affect men but but unusual is that this is mostly affecting elderly people and again if you look at the younger generation almost no mortality we haven't had no we, we had one case of uh, of uh, one day's uh, death case uh, below 20 but uh, but we almost don't have very few people in the in the hospital and very very few dying as well can i have next slide please and, the, and if, you, if you look at the, here at, the, at hospital patients, again, how the situation changed when we had lockdown. So you can see that the lockdown was uh, established when, when the, we had a peak of, the, uh, of, uh, of infections. And, and not right after that, but after, after a couple of weeks, the cases started to drop in hospitals, which was a peak relief. Can, can we have next slide, please? And the, 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 if you compare here, the, this is the um, spring pandemic and this is current situation. But we currently are seeing that the likelihood to get into the hospital is much smaller. So if 7% seven, 7 of people, those who were PCR positive, have ended up in the hospital in the spring, then currently this percent is about 3, 3.5. So what does, does this show? For me, it uh, does show that the vaccines work. So the many people are now immunized, and, and those people 
who are immunized, yes, some of them get, uh, get infected, but they don't end up in the hospital. They have less severe disease and don't need hospital treatment. Can I get next slide, please? And, and if you look at the, what, what has happened, these are all Estonian data, what has happened with our patients in, in younger age group, most of them would go home because this blue one is in the hospital, this um, yellow one is the, the, those who are transferred to other department. If you then look at those who are 75 plus, you can see that the very few of them would go home. This, this is this part here. They either die the red one here, or they go to the uh, to the overflow departments and spend in the hospital quite a number of days. Next slide, please. And this is uh, this is the genotyping. Everybody knows nowadays what is alpha, beta, gamma, and, and delta. The pink one or uh, light pink one is the alpha virus. You can see if we had the alpha virus that was everywhere and this has nothing to do with the lockdown. You can't prevent or you can't stop biology. Those, those countries who were completely closed, they had alpha virus pre the predominance and those who tried to be more open like Estonia, we also had alpha virus dominance. And it, this was now changed with the Delta virus. This is Delta virus here. We don't see anything else. So 100% of current infections are caused by Delta virus. For how long it's going to last, if something stronger comes, the next virus has to be better than Delta virus. Otherwise, it will not overtake. The Delta virus has overtaken whole Europe. This, this is not so, uh, something, this is, uh, this is not typical Estonia. Can I have next slide, please? And uh, is, is the Delta virus causing more severe disease? The data are so and so. The very recent uh, Scottish study showed that the patients are more sick. If we look at the Estonian data, these are, uh, these are those alpha, uh, patients with L alpha virus, these are with Delta virus, you can see that the confidence intervals there, they are overlapping. Our data don't do not show that Delta virus is more uh, causing more severe disease than alpha virus. But as, as I said, the data are still coming in from, uh, from other countries and could show different things. Can I ha have next slide? And coronavirus certainly had an effect uh, on excess mortality. This uh, what, what color does the yellow, yellow line here is 10 year average and and this is 2020, this dark blue, and this black one is 2021. You can see that the, the all, almost until until very recently, the uh, the mortality or or the number of tests, a weekly number of tests, was uh, was always above average. Uh, this here could be coronavirus. This year, I have been explained, could be heat wave. So there are two things mixed here. So there, there's almost no death uh, from coronavirus from this point onward, but everybody still probably remembers that we had a very, very nice uh, tropical summer. So next slide, please. No influenza at all. This is supposed to be influenza here. There's no, nobody forgot to fill in this. There's no influenza. It, influenza stopped when coronavirus came here. Viruses similar to human beings, they don't like each other either. So, so they, or similar, similar people don't like each other. And, and so do viruses. Australia is supposed to be out of the, the flu season. Almost no cases in Australia, Australia either. So it's, Difficult to understand that the one reason might be we don't travel, we have these old hygiene measures in place, um, but, but obviously the worry is that the, when the influenza comes next, then we have been immune naive for two seasons and that's not good either. Can I have next slide, please? And the, the, this slide just, okay, this slide just to show you that the vaccines really work. These are cases in Estonian care homes. You can see we had very many cases, blue bars are cases, the um, orange ones are those who went to the hospital and the black ones are those who died. 
And, and this one is, uh, is uh, the infectious or prevalence in Estonia, the sort of yellow one the, in, in background. And, if, uh, and the immunization in care homes started very early in the second week of, uh, uh, of January already. And you can see that despite that the infection rate was going up in this community, uh, the, numbers of, uh, the numbers in care homes went down. So even in very in very high peak of the uh, um, coronavirus in the society, only very few people from care homes came to the hospital. And I, I think that that was one thing that saved us in the spring. I can't even imagine, I don't want to imagine, if, to, uh, if on the top of these 700 patients from the community, we would have another 100 or 200 patients from care home. So then our hospitals wouldn't go for sure. Can I have next slide, please? Next slide, okay. And the, the, the next question is that uh, whether vaccines work. The green line here is the, uh, the vaccinated people, the black line is unvaccinated people, and, and the blue one is the partly immunized people. I put down the effectiveness here, 85%, the effectiveness was 85% in, uh, in springtime, and currently the effectiveness is about 75%. Uh, so the vaccines still work, and, and this, is, this is infection, not severe disease. If I would put the, uh, can I have next slide, please? Uh, if I look at the more severe disease, and, and I just draw your attention on the, on the right-hand side, if you look at the more severe disease or people who have been hospitalized, if you, and, and these, are, these are people below uh, 60, as I said, people below 60 very rarely happen to be in the hospital, so we don't need to pay attention to that. But if we look at the, those above 60, you can see that unvaccinated people have two to three times higher chance to be in the hospital than those who are vaccinated. I'm not saying that vaccinated people never ever happen to be in the hospital, they do, but, but, but still the, the vaccines, they are very good for, severe, for preventing severe disease. Data coming from all countries, even from Israel. Israel, I mean, United States, Estonia, UK, you, you name it. Many countries have uh, the, now data showing that vaccines still are very good for preventing severe disease. Next slide, please. And we are not the best country in immunizing. If you look at the uh, right-hand side is the Eastern European pattern. This is the, the left-hand side is Western European pattern. The, you, if you look at the 10 mark, you know the 10 mark is sort of stopping all uh, restrictions very soon. And you can see that last four age groups, all 60 plus people are almost all immunized. If you look at the Estonian data, we still have a uh, way to go. Next slide, please. And this is the string stringency index. So you can, I'm, I'm finishing right now, yeah? Uh, so Estonia actually has been a very liberal country. We are right here in the top. So this, this comes our world in data and you can look at the, what, what, what is considered. We had less uh, restrictions than any of these countries who are sort of listed here and they are sort of randomly selected countries. Our neighbors and, and some sort of big countries or important countries are listed here. Can I have a next slide, please? And the Estonian schools were more open than Latvian schools. Next slide, please. So, what was very effective in coping with pandemic slides? These are three last slides. Vaccination works. So I don't have any doubt, and many experts don't have any, any, any doubt that vaccines work. Her herd immunity may not be achievable with, the, with this virus. Total lockdown works, but it's not sustainable. The short-term total lockdown, if the situation is unbearable, it works, but it can't uh, last forever. So, uh, social distancing, the same story, it works, but it, it's, people can't follow it. And avoiding large, large crowds and events, uh, 
that works as well, but for how long does it last? The one thing that pandemic has not created quite yet is that there are a lot of modeling studies, very few sort of randomized controlled trials. So we are still looking for those, uh, those studies. Next uh, slide, please. But does not work, at least on Estonian experience, and you, we have to consider that our country is very small. So lo local restrictions don't work. So if we closed the spas in Itaviruma, then people went to Lanaviruma or Perno. That's not that difficult. It takes another two hours. And, and the infection was just spread across the country. So that, that didn't work. Isolating vulnerable elderly doesn't work because we have mixed generation families and elderly people don't feel that it is worth living if they are isolated for two or three years. My father died in care home, not understanding why he, why his family, at the end of he was 94, why why his family left him at the end of his life. So he didn't understand that because nobody could uh, visit there, and 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 that was a very sad story. Uh, seeding constant fear does not uh, work. But that does not mean there is a very fine balance between careless pe behavior and uh, fear. And large amount of voluntary experts in virology, vaccinology, epidemiology uh, doesn't work either. The, the term hobby virologist, everyone has an op op opinion, but very few know what to do. And, and this sometimes is, is more uh, disturbing than, than helping. And next slide, please. And there are certainly some uncertainties. What is the effect of mass, mass testing? It identifies PCR positive, but not necessarily sick people. Coronavirus passports. Uh, theoretically, they should work. There is a lot of evidence uh, why they should work, but until now, there are not very good data coming from the, uh, from the um, randomized trials or coming from other countries because they, this is a very new thing. I mean, we are just looking. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work. And mandatory face mask cover or face coverings of any quality uh, does not work, but right mask in right time and in right place is useful. And I thank you very much for listening, and, and I probably didn't go too much over time.